As Oklahoma's summer temperatures increase, we are also seeing more horn flies and horse flies on livestock. Today, Dr. Justin Talley has some treatment options. Yeah, overall, when Oklahoma gets, starts to warm up, we start seeing increased fly populations. Uh, two main flies that we're concerned about uh, about this time of year are, are horse flies and horn flies. Yeah, in, in general, when we think about environmental conditions, when, when we have uh, certain things like uh, increased humidity, increased precipitation, that can increase our fly populations. But in general, when we have increased uh, temperatures, that's always going to increase our fly populations. Yeah, so horn flies are a blood feeding fly, so every time we see an increase of, of a certain number of those flies, we'll see an impact to those animals because it's a stress. And what we usually see in cattle is anywhere from a one and a half to 0.5 pounds per week in loss and when the fly population is not controlled. And then once you have the increased temperatures, you're not only having that stress from the flies, but you're having kind of a two, two-fold effect with heat stress combined with the, the fly stress. So horse flies are very unique because only the females feed on the animals. And their, their larval habitat are what we call semi-aquatic um, and any kind of wet leaf litter. So they're really hard to control but they're really vicious biters and they can cause a lot of stress to cattle. And they're, they're also involved in being a mechanical uh, vector of anaplasmosis. So in, in horses, we're not concerned with anaplasmosis, but what we're concerned with is just the overall stress. So July is a critical month. If you haven't done any kind of horn fly control, you need to get out there and, and just look at your animals. And if they have a few flies on them now and our temperatures increase like they say they're going to increase, then you're going to get a almost a tenfold increase in the population because they'll become really reproductive. All kinds of control options. Now certain control options are going to give you more uh, control for a longer period of time such as ear tags. But then when you consider late season control options, what you want to consider is uh, reintegrating maybe some porons that you did initially in the spring and you may have to go back in there and do an additional poron application. Yeah, actually studies that we did here in Oklahoma State is that with burning we reduced both horn flies and uh, tick populations. Uh, we saw a, 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 a two-fold decrease in hornfly populations just by burning the pasture. And what that does is that particular system is that we did a patch burn system, so you're only burning portions of that pasture. So it's, it's, it's similar to rotational grazing in that you have a different manure distribution pattern and then it alters the, the grazing habitats of those animals. So that interaction plus the decrease in the flies developing in the manure pads led to a decreased hornfly population.